Welcome back everyone to another fun experiment on Figma. So this is nothing related to UI or UX. It's just a fun thought I got. So there are a lot of apps which basically let you take a static photograph and convert it into a motion picture. So I thought why not I just try that on Figma itself and see how that turns out to be. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here I'm on Figma and the first thing we need is a photograph for which I move on to unsplash.com where you find some beautiful images and you need to find some scenic beauty or something like that but make sure it has motion in the image. So for example the clouds moving or the water falling here. So this one here looks really pretty. I'll uh, try to use this one so I'll just download this. And there you go, it's downloaded. I'll just take it onto Figma now and place it here. The next thing, I'll just resize it and right click and say frame selection. This basically adds it onto a frame. And now we have everything set up. So the first thing we'll do is I'll use the vector tool and trace out this water. So I want the water to flow down. So that is the thing that I'm expecting out of this. For which I'll just use the pen tool and I'll quickly do a rough trace over this image right here. So there you go, we have traced it out. Now just add a fill to it and make sure you duplicate the image. So just have a backup of it. And now send the shape below the image. And now select the image and the shape and just say mask. So this is the option to create a mask. So that basically separates out this waterfall from this image here. And the next thing you can do is add some linear gradient to it so that we can have a transparency at the bottom. So at one end you make the transparency zero and at the other end keep it at 100. So as you can see it just becomes transparent at the bottom. So that is something we want to achieve. So if I go and try to edit the gradient here you can see that as I move this point to the top you can see that the transparency gets edited over the image. And also make sure that you remove the stroke here. So that's it, we have the image ready. So now that the image is ready, let's place it back onto the same position here. So where we took it out from, so this one looks good. So the next thing you can do is just a tip, it's not a mandatory step, but you can select this whole mask group and then go to object and select the rasterize selection. So this basically converts this whole complex structure into just a bitmap image. So it's basically easy for handling going ahead. So this is something you can do or you can just skip it. And basically this is the image that we drag it and increase in size and that is how you get the motion of the image and then the next thing you do is just duplicate this and have this as a dummy image so one will be on the bottom and one will be the grow image so this one is the one which grows and the bottom part is just a dummy so that you don't have much of an overlap when you animate this so you can just adjust this according to whatever you want so I just reduce the size and a bit of a width so next thing you just duplicate the artboard and in the next frame you just increase the grow layer to how much ever height you want it to grow. And finally, we are left out with the animation part. So just go to prototype and link this to the next artboard and say after delay of one millisecond and do a smart animate of let's say 2500 milliseconds should work good. Loop back this one back to the first frame. But in this case, we'll just do after delay of one millisecond. But instead of smart animate, we'll just do a dissolve at one millisecond so that it continuously loops forever. And once you're done with all this, I'll just click on preview. And as you can see, you can get this motion of the water moving. So that's how we do it. And apart from this, you can add a couple of more elements here. So let's say you want to add some clouds to this just to make it more fun. So just search for cloud PNG and just Google it and you'll find cloud images. Just place it like this and in the next frame just move it a bit further ahead. And if you do the same thing with animate, you can see that it's animating but this is quite fast. You just have to uh, adjust the timings. But if you use interactive components, you can have uh, you know different time durations for each of these objects. And to showcase that, I've just done another example here. So this was the actual static image that you see here and that got converted to this using uh, two interactive components here. So one is a waterfall and one is a cloud that you see here. And I've just uh, done the animation using smart animate and all. And once I try to preview this, you get such an image. So that is how you just convert a static image to such amazing motion animation. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you found it fun and interesting. Thanks for watching.